Older people looking for work often have a harder time finding a job. It takes someone over the age of 55, on average, three months longer to find a job than a younger person. And while age discrimination is a growing concern, it's becoming harder to prove. NPR's Yuki Noguchi reports. One day in 2003, Jack Gross read a memo. It detailed staffing changes at his insurance company. I got this ahead of time, and uh, it just jumped off the page. Everybody that they're naming here is my age or older. Nobody under 50 was getting demoted. The only promotions were people who were basically a generation younger than us. Gross was 54 years old at the time and a vice president at FBL Financial. He was among a dozen people demoted that day. All were older and all were high performers. But Gross alone decided to sue FBL for age discrimination. That was terrible. Uh, Once you file suit against your company, you're pretty much persona non grata. I, I felt literally like I was crossing enemy lines. Former friends at work spurned Jack Gross. He was excluded from meetings and received almost no emails or phone calls. This made him sick with stress. But he stayed on the job another nine years because he believed he had no other choice. What employer in his native Des Moines would hire someone older and who had filed a suit? Eventually, Gross won in lower court. But the case was appealed to the Supreme Court, where Gross lost. And in a 5-4 decision, the high court ruled that a plaintiff must prove, with a preponderance of evidence, that age was the reason for the discrimination. In effect, Gross versus FBL increased the burden of proof for age discrimination suits. Because of the ruling, experts say hundreds of other cases have been thrown out. Personally, that, that's one of the things I resent most is that my name is being associated with so much injustice and unfairness. Even before the ruling, it was costly and difficult to bring such a case. Gross says it cost $11,000 just to print documents related to his case. And it coincides with a time when the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission says age discrimination is becoming a bigger problem. Stuart Ishimaru is an EEOC commissioner. He says age-related charges make up a growing number of complaints filed at the commission. I think that the number of formal complaints that come into us understate the nature of the problem. Ishimaru says dismissal or demotion cases like Gross's are hard enough to prove. He says it's much more challenging to prove discrimination in hiring. For all of the issues we deal with, it's, it's a... It's a real conundrum for us. And frankly, in this economy where people are looking for jobs, they don't have time to worry about a discrimination suit, they're not going to be thinking about this. Gerald Matman is a Chicago attorney who represents employers in these types of cases. He says age discrimination lawsuits are high stakes for companies because the monetary damages involved are typically higher than other claims. But Matman admits plaintiffs have a tough time bringing hiring cases. Those claims are very, very difficult to prove in that uh, the smoking gun evidence that needs to exist to prove a successful claim is very difficult to find in those circumstances. The gross case has a chilling effect, says Dan Corman, a senior attorney at the AARP Foundation, which helps bring age discrimination cases. These kinds of decisions scare off workers and scare off lawyers because the clear trend is it's harder to prove an age case. You may not get a fair shake in all kinds of interpretations of the law in an age case. Corbin says plaintiffs these days are seeing better luck in state courts. States like California, Michigan, and New York have stronger protections for older workers. But if you don't live in that kind of state, then it is tough. It is really tough. As for Jack Gross, he says his best hope is that his case will prompt Congress to pass tougher laws against age discrimination. 